Hey, my beautiful soul tribe. Thank you for checking out my channel for the love of all the tarot. My name is Keonti and I'm going to bring us a collective read. Again, this reading is going to be for the collective, meaning that it is for all of us. We all are a part of the collective, no matter what your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is, okay? It is a general read, so every part about this read won't resonate for every last single one of you, nor should it. I'm simply not that gifted. Some things will, some things may not. Please use your intuition in the discernment and put yourself where you go in the reading if you go there at all. If I get it right for you and you like your girl's vibe, please take care of me with the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information will be provided in the description box below the video. My email address is for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. All right, so tribe, I went ahead and I meditated and I pulled some cards down to pick up the energies to kind of save us some time. And we're going to get right into what I see is happening in the collective currently. I'm not sure how this is going to go for a lot of you, but what I am certain of is there is someone who wants the inside scoop, a closer look. They want to be nosy and all up in your business. I know this, right? A lot of you, you're just minding your business because same ish, different day is under there, okay? Now, this could be somebody who wants to know about third parties, multiple choices, lovers. It could be a Gemini doing this, but I feel like it's somebody who's doing this who has a lot of things that they should be worried about other than you. It feels like someone is definitely wanting the inside scoop and all up in your business, but they have some things of their own that they need to be tending to. Let's get into it. I have reflecting here, which is a Virgo card for me, but it's shadow work, soul searching, deep introspection, evaluation, hermit energy and void period, and it was clarified with external party. I believe this is the external parties that whoever it wants to, the inside school about your business is dealing with, right? I feel like this person needs to do some shadow work and some self-reflecting on this. And the external party reads situations, karmic partners, friends, family, work, other people, and obligations. This person, is pro I feel like this person probably is doing some shadow work concerning uh, external situations with external parties. But yet and still, which is which is really funny to me, I feel like with the inside scoop, they still have plenty of energy to wonder what's going on with you, right? Next, I have intimacy. Closeness, sexuality, and seclusion, and it's clarified with heart song, inner knowing, telepathy, and intuition. I got Pisces in the building here, or Cancer, or Scorpio, because that's usually the more, uh, water sign energy for me. For some of you, this is concerning love. This could be someone wanting to be intimate with you, and I feel like the, uh, if, if this is resonating, you have an inner knowing. Your intuition is telling you this, right? This, this does not have to be about someone necessarily that um, you have an intimate relationship with, but this could definitely be somebody wanting to know, like, for real, who you're being intimate with, who you're close with. Like, what do you, what do, you do? Someone could definitely want to be close to you to know what you're doing in seclusion. Like, because, I, like I said, I feel like you, whoever I'm talking to, you're just doing the same ish you've been doing, right? The same old ish, dog, that, just a different day. But, yeah, that energy is feeling um intimidated or bothered or threatened by that, right? For some of you, this energy just wants to be, like, really close to you because they want, they want to know all about your business for others of you this is someone who may definitely want to be intimate with you that wants to be close that wants to be sexual that wants to be sexual with you even wants to be in seclusion which you wants to be alone for some of you i do feel like it's an energy that wants to be alone with you because they want to get in they, they want to inside scoop to know what's going on with you right for sure next i have nightmares and losing sleep which is the nine of swords energy i told you i do feel like this energy is having some sleepless nights with the nine of swords this energy can be losing sleep over you but i do feel like this energy has a lot of other shit to worry about but then we do have the candy apple sweet on you and kind again i don't yeah yeah see this is set and under here is another cancerian card yep yeah. driving carpool movement this is someone who wants to come towards you and be very sweet and kind on you some of you know this some of you are high priestess some of you may be tarot readers because I have the vision board, psychic, terror reading, future predictions. I feel like some of you know this. You know that there's an energy wants, that wants to come towards you. Now, the psychic may have told you. The tarot card reader may have told you. You may just be super duper intuitive because I have the inner knowing and the telepathy and the intu intuition here, right? I do feel like 
some of you intuitively know that this energy is planning on coming towards you in the future for sure. I do feel like this energy is planning on coming towards you for sure. And under here is another high, five, high priestess card, 5D communication and voices. I'm telling you, listen, I do feel like right now there's a time of heightened intuition. Pay attention to dream space here for sure because I have the nighttime, the night, something about nighttime sleep and dreams here for sure and intuition. So pay attention to that right now. Then we have pretending fake living with them, living with them, living beyond, excuse me, one's means. And we have family, blood ties, inner circle. I do believe that this energy that is concerned about you. Now, listen, some of you, this could be someone that is in your family, that is in your, some fake energy that's in your inner circle, right? There could definitely be someone who is around you that's in your inner circle. If it's not family, it could be coworkers, whatever, friends, that that's kind of, a fake friend, but I feel like more than anything, this energy, there's something about, there's a false pretense that this energy is dealing with, dealing with their inner circle or their family or their blood ties. I'm telling you, I feel like this is the energy that's definitely just wanting the inside scoop and wanting to know what the hell is going on with you, right? Because I feel like this is an energy that has bigger fish to fry. Next, we have lessons, and I do feel like this is probably an energy that is happening with this energy that is so concerned about what you're doing with third parties, what choices do you have, what lover do you have. There could definitely be someone who has that a lot of that going on, too, because I have to. It's something about, it's something about this energy definitely doing reflection or needing to do reflection and shadow work about situations that they have with external parties. But then we have lessons. Trial and error, doing the inner shadow work, taking time to self-reflect, going within, getting closer to your soul purpose, and we have secrets. Okay, so this energy is secretly, because they're holding this a secret, holding back, keeping things hidden, not telling the entire truth, buried knowledge. This energy is learning some sort of lesson in secret. This is why this energy is worried about you. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And I, now, for some of you, you don't know this. You just know this intuitively. There's an inner knowing. There's telepathy. There's intuition. There could definitely be an energy that is reach, try, trying to reach you in a very telepathic way to give you the signs and signals that they want to be close, right? They want to be intimate. Not necessarily sexually intimate, but an intimate moment with you. There's definitely an energy that wants an intimate moment with you. Now, some of you may be the intuitive here, right? For sure. And it can be sweet and kind on you and want to come towards you because of your intuitive skills, gifts, and abilities. I have strong Cancer, strong Pisces, uh, even some Scorpio here, but it doesn't have to be any of those signs here. Like I said, I don't feel like the energy has anything negative for, towards you or for you because it says sweet on kind, sweet on you and kind on sweet and kind towards you. I also feel like whatever this energy is dealing with, with the nightmares and losing sleep, whatever this energy dealing with these external parties, with this external situations, I do feel like it's causing them it's causing them to lose sleep. But it's also making someone kind of feel kind of sweet and kind on you. That's probably why they want the inside scoop and want to be nosy and all up in your business here, okay? If I can just be honest. Let's go ahead and clarify with some tarot. Again, guys, if I get it right for you, take care of your girl with that like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in booking me for a private reading, please email me at the love of water tarot at uh, gmail.com, okay? All right, let's get some clarification on this. Spirit, for my soul tribe, for my collective. Again, I have Virgo here. I have a lot of water, but it could be anybody. I, yeah, there's definitely a situation that this person is dealing with, whether, like I said, whether it's family, something about blood ties or inner circle where there's like a false pretense. There's something fake that they're dealing with. This, there's, per, there's a person that is definitely learning some secrets. They're learning some lessons for sure, but they're keeping it a secret. They're doing shadow work about, an, about external parties and situations here. Karmic partners, friends, family work, other people, and obligations. They are there doing some reflecting about that. I feel like this is why this energy is wanting to have this intimacy or this closeness to you, right? Whoever I'm speaking to here, because there's a there's an empath or a, um there's an empath or an intuitive, maybe a healer here for sure. Again, a psychic. It could be a tarot reader, something of that nature here. But there's this very spiritual thing under there. It's five D. So I don't know. Some of you communicate with people on the other side. Is there someone searching for you? want to communicate with you about 
energies on the other side, people on the other side. Some of you, someone could be seeking guidance and your opinion and your advice about energies dealing with family and blood ties and inner circles, uh, situations that they have. For sure, there could just be someone that is literally in a family situation that's all fake. And they're, and they're pretending and they're living beyond one, one they're living beyond their means. But <clears throat> what I do know is there's an energy that is learning some secrets here, learning some lessons here from trial and error. <clears throat> they are doing the inner shadow work concerning this. They're taking time to reflect and go within because they they want to get closer to their soul purpose. But the thing about it is I feel like they also want to get closer to you as well. Let's get some clarification on this for you guys. Give me some for, about this energy, about this shadow work. There's definitely someone in the soul searching, doing deep introspection and evaluation. They're, they're in a hermit energy. There's an avoid period. And here we go. The hangman. I told you Pisces was involved. So listen, the hangman is the energy of kind of taking this time to self-reflect, though. The hangman is definitely introspection. The, the hangman is seeking enlightenment. Again, Pisces in the building. There could be a Virgo worrying about uh, that's, that's thinking about a Pisces. Or this is just someone who was definitely, oh, they're, they're doing some soul searching about with the hangman about some sort of feeling of feeling stuck. Right. Feeling like some sort of martyr or feeling like sac sacrificing something about sacrificing and feeling stuck here that they're doing shadow work about the world and how to close out that cycle. But this is about learning lessons here. I told you there's someone that's learning a lesson in secret. Look, this is how they're feeling. The four of cups, bored, discontent. They're looking down at a cup, possibly a cup dealing with you about a missed opportunity. I just heard maybe a, bit, a missed business opportunity with you, too. For some of you, it's a business opportunity here. But there's an opportunity that they're that, that they're looking down at that they feel like they missed with you. Put it where it goes, guys. Look, and there's the nine of swords. I'm telling you, this person is losing sleep. They're having nightmares behind this. Let's get some more. Spirit, clarify this intimacy. There's an energy of someone wanting to get close to you. It could definitely be sexuality or seclusion. I feel like they want to be something about an intimate setting for sure. With just you and them. They want to speak to you that way. Look, and under your solitary, some of you are definitely dealing with the Virgo hoping. Someone is definitely hoping to get you alone, to have some sort of deep conversation here. Yes. Someone is hoping to get you alone to have a deep conversation. Let me let me write that down really quickly. Someone wants to get you alone for a deep conversation. Okay, for sure. And some of you intuitively, you know this. Or something about your your inner knowing or your telepathy that someone is seeking to, yeah, someone is, someone is seeking something about your inner knowing. Intuitively, some of you know this for sure. For some of you, someone's been trying to send these in, these these messages out to you telepathically, right? Clarify this energy for me, for my soul drive this intimacy and heart song, the Knight of Wands. For some of you, it is about being intimate. I'm telling you, it could be someone who is very attracted to you. This could also be someone with the Knight of Wands. I feel like someone could definitely feel like they have a lot going on, right? I don't know if they feel like you know that deep inside, or someone could definitely feel like it's something about um the inner knowing that you have of this person. God dang it. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the fire sign or an earth sign. Give me one second, because I'm just going to look and see who's ringing my bell before I even get up. God dang it. Yeah. Oh, it's just the FedEx. I'll go back and get it. Never mind. Yes. There could also be a situation with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. There could be something that you know deep down inside about a situation with the Knight of Wands that's kind of all over the place, right? And the, and the Knight of Pentacles could definitely be like a long-term situation that's kind of out of control and been all out of the place. There's also an energy where someone could want to get close to you because it's something about this person could have the Knight of Wands energy, but something about you being the Knight of Pentacles is almost like you could balance this um, chaotic energy that someone may be dealing with. Yeah, some set, look, the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords, yeah. I feel like someone wants to speak to you about um, the Knight of Wands could definitely be this external parties and situations. This could definitely be the energy that someone wants to withdraw from, right? And it could, and I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles and the, I mean the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, this person could definitely feel like they're having to be very defensive about long-term stability, longevity, 
legacy, I heard. But there is the king of pentacles and the ace of swords. So I do feel like there's a conversation that someone wants to have. And the seven of swords under here is definitely telling me there's things that you don't know here that they haven't told, that they may want to speak upon. Let's get some for this sweet on you and kind of nightmare and losing sleep. There's definitely someone who is losing sleep that's having stress and anxiety. And there's definitely something about this happening at night. But there is someone who is sweet and kind on you and they definitely want to come towards you. They want to come toward they want to come towards you. I'm just not sure what all of this um telepathic, this intuition, this future. Like I don't know if some of you are literally psychic or you're getting information from a tarot reader. Or they want you to know this intuitively. Like it's almost like they're sending intuitive messages towards you. But it is an energy that's sweet and kind on you. They want to come towards you. Something about your intuition or something here. Give me something that's mighty swords. Energy. Look, the five of wands. There's a lot of conflict here. I feel like this person is losing sleep over this five of wands energy. A lot of conflict going on in their life. And it's dealing with external party and external situations. Look, the four of pentacles. I don't know. I'm here in tug of war. There could be battles over money with the four of pentacles. Control issues. I don't, I'm not sure what this is this person is going through, but it feels kind of icky. I'm going to be honest. Look, the two of wands, the page of pentacles. It feels like they want to come towards you and make this offer, the emperor. Mm -hmm. The six of swords, yeah. There's something about this person wanting to move. There's that movement. The knight of cups, see, they're sweet on you. They definitely want to come towards you in a sweet way. There's the knight of cups and the chariot. I knew it. But there they are, the king of swords, the king of cups. They're coming up as a lot of kings here. Very, very masculine energy. But I feel like with the with the four of pentacles of two of wands, this is this person coming towards you to make some sort of offer or gesture, right? Very sweet and kind on you, but it goes from the page to the emperor. So it may start off as something small and maybe some small sort of gesture. But with the emperor here, I feel like it's going to be very clear. It may start off small, but the, it goes from a page to the emperor. But it's about this, the six of swords. There's something about movement, moving, traveling, six of swords. But it's, it's coming towards you with the knight of cups. The chariot is just clarifying. It could be a cancer, Aries, Taurus, earth sign. They are coming towards you very sweet and kind, but with the King of Swords, they definitely have some shit to say. I feel like this sword is wielding the truth. There could definitely be some harsh conversations that this person is, is, is meaning to have. But then here's that King of Cups here and the lovers. This, like I said, this is an energy that's sweet and kind on you. And there's that self there's their self-reflection. Ooh, we this is something else. Let's get some for this family. This blood ties in this inner circle. I do feel like um, there is someone. There's a false pretense, and there's something, something very fake, or something about it. It, it. it could literally be people living beyond their means, but it just feels like some sort of fake, false pretense about um, someone's inner circle here. And I feel like this is what they're doing and reflecting in a shadow work about, right? About external situations, about feeling stuck in those right and they could also be getting some enlightenment or someone is coming to you seeking enlightenment yes give me some maybe that's what it is give me some for this uh family and pretending energy here for my soul side give me some for this energy the ten of cups there it is again there it is again family whatever family work soul tribe whatever it is you see it look the five of cups this person is extremely disappointed in this situation I feel like the two cups standing is the is the energy that this person feels like they have for you. There's an opportunity here because there's two cups standing between you and them. They feel like you and you and them could see eye to eye on something because there's three cups spilled. This person is definitely disappointed in some issue. Look, and it, it has something to do with that inner circle energy, the four of wands. This could be happening in a home, right? This could be happening in a business situation, right? This is someone that's disappointed in energies with the four of wands, with, with energies where there should be equal collaboration to achieve things with. And it could definitely be family and children could be involved in this. Here's the high priestess and the ace of cups. I'm telling you, someone is, whoever this high priestess is in this situation, I'm just going to go with this you. But there's this, ener this, this energy, I'm telling you. This energy is coming towards this high priestess for ace of cups. There's something about the cup, the cup that this high priestess is holding that this energy kind of finds... Valuable. Yeah, the food. They're going to take a leap. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries. 
Yeah, this energy has been really, really reluctant here. I'm also getting stubborn. Let's find out what the lessons is. There's someone that is learning. They are learning some real lessons right now via trial and error. They are doing the inner shadow work. They, they are taking the time to self-reflect. And they are wanting to get closer to their soul purpose. But this person is keeping this a secret for sure. And in the meantime, they definitely want to know the inside scoop of what's going on with you. They want a closer look. They want to get a, they want to be intimate and close and secluded with you. I see that for sure. Now, for, now for some of you, this is sexual. For some of you, this is not. Put this where this goes. But there is lessons that this person is, they're learning their lessons via trial and error. They're, they're learning this in secret. They're holding back. They're keeping things hidden. They're not telling this. They have the very knowledge. Now, you may not know this, but I feel like for some of you with all this telepathy and intuition you do, you may know that this, this, this energy is learning some lessons, but they don't want to admit it here. Eight of Pentacles, this could be something about someone that you work with. This could definitely be someone that is working on something in secret because they've learned the lesson. Look, there's an high priestess again. Someone knows. I feel like you I'm talking to, you know the secret. You know it. Look, and the Ace of Cups, there it is. It is coming towards you. The fool, someone is going to take that leap. Give me one more. You could be dealing with an earth sign. There could be something about work here. Someone learning some secret lessons at work. But I just feel like this is someone putting energy in effort. There's someone coming towards this high priestess, I feel like. The Four of Cups, yep. Someone could definitely have learned a lesson about a missed opportunity with someone. I do feel like there's an energy that is bored and discontent, but they want to work on it. They've learned some lessons. The Queen of Wands is here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Look at this. The Sun. Leo, Energy. Death. Woo-wee. Wow. There's definitely an energy of um, seeing some things clearly, seeing the light. There's big changes and transformation happening here. Someone could have definitely learned their lesson dealing with another energy here. I don't know why I'm getting son's mother or son's father. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but I am hearing that. Definitely could be dealing with the Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Give me one more on this. One more on this secret and lesson. Someone could have definitely learned the lesson with dealing with someone else. The higher refined Taurus energy. For some of you, it is a situation dealing with work, dealing with family, dealing with business. The two of wands, there is definitely someone that is getting ready to go in a new direction. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like someone is learning some big spiritual lessons too. I'm also uh, uh, the hierophant could def uh, is definitely about contracts, commitments, family. Could be about traditions, values, religion. I feel like spiritual lessons here. Someone is definitely learning a lesson about something about taking commitments seriously here, or something to that degree. Okay, guys, if it resonates, make sure you take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in booking me, email me for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. I thank you for entrusting me, believing me, supporting me, and allowing me the opportunity. Y'all stay beautiful, stay safe, and stay high vibing. I have some more readings for you guys soon. Bye, my soul tribe.